Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get this Craftify mod set up. So that way whenever you go in chat or escape, you can move it like this. You can move it, click on it, you move it whatever the hell you want. And how to have the icon and the picture, toggle it. First step, you're going to want to install two mods. Unfortunately, the only way I know how to access the files is through mod menu. So you're going to go install mod menu, which... Craftify, if you want to start Craftify, it's either on Modrith, the mod, Modrith, and the tutorial for different ones is for on GitHub. GitHub Craftify, that both of the links will be in the description below, okay? Now, I'm using Feather, so I just search up the mods. I, I search it up on Craftify, search it up in Browse Mods, and so Browse Mods, Craftify, and then there's also mod menu, which I think already comes with it. No, it, it, it doesn't. You just install them. One for twenty is the one I'm using, and that's my fab. That's my feather. Okay, so this is. A I'm gonna be showing you how to do the YouTube version. The the one for Spotify, you're gonna have to read yourself. It's a, I think it's easier. You still have to log in and stuff. And for the YouTube music one, you are gonna need this YouTube music. Desktop. You are gonna need the desktop app, so I recommend installing that. Um, it's you know, that would be in the link description also below. I'm gonna save that. Okay, now that you installed it, correct? We pause the thing. We are in the game. Let's say I wanna I wanna toggle this. Skip. Pause it. Skip to the next song. Skip back. That's what the four options I have, right? For that to work, you need to set up a few things. You go to mods. We have you installed mod menu, correct? You go to mods, you go to craftify, it should be over here. What you, should, you have to be on a server in a single player world, pretty sure, for this to work. So, mod, any server, any Minecraft survival, whatever the case is, or creative, any server, single player. You click on this, craftify, you click on that three over here, configure. Okay, so we're given this option, general, login, render. For general, you set up, you choose the version you have. I have YouTube Music, that's the one I chose. If you have Spotify, you choose Spotify. Link mode, I just, it does, these things don't matter. Do whatever the hell you want. I did this, I did this, I, even though I could care less. And then, then you also make sure to check out the self-promotion YouTube, it's really cool. Uh, we have notification album art. This is left to right, so this is where the picture, so we have the text and the picture. I have on the right side, even though it's on the left, I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe, oh, that's a central notification. Okay, that doesn't matter then. Now, in general, you're going to need to go to theme config. This is important. You go to hide. By default, this should be on. This hide image. You see this? This is the only thing you need. Make sure you turn this off. Whenever you have this on, uh, it's glitched. It's not... Give me a second. Well, have it on. I recommend having it on. Hide image not only hides the image, but it also makes it so you can't move it. So you can't move it from any part of your screen, which kind of sucks. So may I, I turn it off. Okay, once you do that, you go to login, and you need your YTMD password, and you need your service port, correct? So you have your password, your service port, and to get those, you need to go to your YouTube Disc Music app right here. I'm gonna full screen this. This is where my YouTube music app, okay? I'm gonna move my kick real quick. So you see the gear up top over here, right here. You click on this gear, that's what you need. You click on the gear, and then you're going to click on integrations. I'm not going to click on, okay, you're gonna go, if once you click on integrations, you're gonna have uh, a thing. Maybe cover them up my code okay you're gonna have this this is what you're gonna see Wait, actually let me make it bigger you're gonna see this this is what you're going to see you're gonna see remote control protect remote control with password that's what you do okay so your password is gonna be like one two x d something z i don't know it's gonna be letters and numbers it doesn't matter what the password is Five digits is what you do. You enable remote control. You put, turn that on. You write down these things. You can't really copy, I don't think. You can highlight it. Once you write it down, <clears throat> you go to Minecraft. And you put that code for this. This is for the YouTube one. 
this is for the youtube one so you put in the five numbers in there you can click on this i to see the code and for service port default it's like 9863 if that's not the case for you if this doesn't work which it should be the case you have to click on remote control which takes you to a website and the website does not have to work but what matters is in the link that's going to be four digits those first last digits of the link when you open this is going to be your service port. Mine was 9863. And my friend's was also. So, uh, but she lives really far away. So, this is what you do. Okay. Once you do that, you could do... I, I set my render type as always. Controls. Make sure you have this on if you want to skip. Oh, I apologize. Wait. Okay. I'm going to close this. Render. Make sure it's on. Bottom. This doesn't matter. You can move this anyway. So, you could do whatever you like. And you go back. You're done with this, I'm pretty sure. Now, you're not going to see this. You're going to see something else. Because mine is... Why is it so... Why is it so smudged in? Technical difficulties, give me one second. It's because I showed you the... General theme config. It should be... There we go. There, there. I fixed it. Okay. So this is what you should see. Not yet, actually. Not yet. So two things you need to do. You link your YouTube Music correct. You link it to Minecraft correct. Now you have to restart both. You need to close Minecraft for this to apply changes here. And you need to go to a task manager. And you have to close your YouTube Music. That's what you need to do. You go to here. You end task. All. You just have to end task every single YouTube Music desktop app. You end task. And then you reopen the app. You want to do that. And then once you restart your game, you have to close, save and quit. You have to leave a quick game and reopen the Minecraft launcher. You should be able to go in the game. And then, oh yeah, one last step. Keybinds. You go to your keybinds. So here you do, you do escape. You go options. You go controls. You go keybinds. And you scroll down three, four, five, six, seven, seventh ish category. Uh, depends on what mod you have. Skip forward, previous, toggle crafting hut, toggle play. Make sure you set these up. Toggle play, I have as a left bracket. P, I have as P. Oh, toggle hut, P, left bracket, right bracket, because they go in a row. It's like one, it's really easy to control. That's what I have. You're gonna want that. And once you do that, I think you restart your you restarted your YouTube music, you linked the code, you linked it to Minecraft, you restarted your Minecraft, you get on in the game, you click P to toggle, well you whatever you call it, toggle a key is, you can toggle it and then you click whatever you want, skip a song and pause it. That's what you can do. If this doesn't work, I uh your best bet is go back to the description below and check out over here. GitHub, this is what you're looking for. This is the one I just did. What YouTube Music? Restart login tab. YouTube Music mod menu. See, you do if you use mod menu, it helps a lot. And take remote control. That's what we just did. That's that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this helped you. If it didn't, I'm sorry. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys.